Part 5, Whale Sharks in Oslob. We wake up at 5.30 because we're trying to get to the Whale Shark Watching Center before 6 o'clock. I'm told by the afternoon the place is a zoo. We're going in the middle of the week so we have a little bit less of a crowd. There's a briefing about what not to do, no touching the sharks, no wearing sunscreen. You can see right here, not very far out, that's actually where the whale sharks come to. Whale sharks get up to 12 meters. The ones we saw were probably between five and seven meters. They feed them some kind of krill. So they have come back every day because of this feeding. There are people that don't like this idea that it's not a fully natural experience because they're being fed. But it's still quite amazing to be around such a big animal. did brush up against me. Skin is a little bit rough, sandy. I did my best to stay away from them though. The whole experience is about 30 minutes. The time flies by very quickly. Come back to Laxon's place for a few hours to relax, swim in the pool. By the way, they don't serve any food here, so if you like food, you better bring it yourself. Then we get back on the bus to Cebu. The mistake that I made was we got onto the smaller bus. There's also a big coach size bus that goes to Cebu. If I had a choice again, I would have taken that big bus. While on the bus, I enjoy this coconut pie. I've seen these everywhere, I decided to try it. It's not bad, it's sweet. I think it has coconut and bacon or coconut and ham in it. The bus ride took between four and a half to five hours.
After a quick meal in the mall, we head back to our hotel. For your security, view first before you open the door. Wow, sounds dangerous. Thank you for depositing your firearms, weapons at the front desk for safekeeping. So at least we know the guns are at the front. 